Cyclone fans, Chris Williams here with CycloneFanatic.com talking a little bit about the 34-14 win that Iowa State had on your Saturday over Kent State. Good win, I think, for the Cyclones. 20 points on the road. The road losing streak is over. Don't have to listen about that anymore. Congratulations on that. And listen, I know you're all passionate fans. You're very passionate Cyclone fans. That's why you visit CycloneFanatic.com. But I challenge you, don't get too nitpicky with this win. I know that the ball was put on the floor a little bit too much. I know that Kent State wasn't a very good football team. It's easy to get picky about certain little things, but it was a road win. We haven't been able to say that very much over the last few years, if at all, which I guess we haven't due to the road losing streak. Don't get too nitpicky. Watch a little NFL football on Sunday. Wear your Cyclone t-shirt. Be excited about this football team being 2-1 and one as they head back to Jack Trice Stadium next Saturday where Army, a pretty decent football team, will roll into town. That's not going to be a game where Iowa State can sleepwalk through and win. I think we all know that about this football team right now. Uh, big stats tonight, what I like to see, really appreciated the rushing statistics. 234 yards for the Cyclones. Alexander Robinson just looked phenomenal tonight. 143 yards and a touchdown. Probably going to be our Cyclone of the Week for the third consecutive week. Uh, actually, for the second consecutive week at CycloneFanatic.com. I would assume we'll wait and see what all of you vote come your Sunday. But the best at 47 rushing yards for Kent State. The defense played well tonight. Uh, a battered Kent State football team. But Iowa State had to put some people out on the football field to stop them, and they did that, and they made that team look really bad tonight. I think we all have to be really excited about that. Austin Arnaud, I would call it a workmanlike effort tonight. Uh, he didn't look like an all-Big 12 quarterback by any means, but he, he came back and he, he looked like he had the football team. The guys were playing for him. He looked like a true leader out there, and that's what I think we've all come to really like about Austin or not over the past couple of years or so. His teammates enjoy him being out there, and I think I'm not really crazy worried about him for the rest of the season, and hopefully he can prove himself some more against Army coming up next week. But again, a good win, 20 points on the road. I think most of you would have taken that if we would have said that, say, on Tuesday that was going to be the case. Think back to in June, if I would have told you that Iowa State would beat Kent State by 20 points in week three of the college football season, I'm assuming most of you would be really, really happy about that. The road losing streak is over. I'm looking forward to this week to break down the big Army game. We're going to have all sorts of great stuff for you all week long right here at CycloneFanatic.com. Have a great rest of your weekend, Cyclone Fanatics. I'm Chris Williams saying so long and go Cyclones.